Something that causes a few problems is um, this idea of blood pressure. It's not an easy thing to get your head around. So there's a simple bit you need to remember, which I'll talk about in a second, um, but I'll try and explain a little bit on blood pressure first of all. This is a thing you would have done where uh, you had a, a cuff put around your arm. Here's somebody's arm. There we go. And you put that cuff around the outside and you inflate it, you pump it up. What's happening here is there's an artery that runs down your arm called the brachial artery. And what happens is you pump this uh, cuff up is it squeezes your arm shut and it cuts off the blood supply in the artery. Once it's cut it off, it then releases the pressure slowly and it measures the point when that artery finally reopens. Okay, and it takes a measurement. It then slowly lets the pressure go, so the artery opens all the way, and when it's completely opened out, it takes another measurement. What is it actually measuring inside? Well, if you think that your heart, every time it beats, is pushing blood out, okay, it's pushing it out through the arteries. Now, the moment that your heart beats that first big squeeze and it's pretty powerful the blood is really getting pumped out of here quite hard okay imagine I don't know getting a big balloon and just doing it the water would shoot out really hard so the first measurement it takes as that artery opens is actually a measurement of how hard the blood is being forced out of the heart but it's called the systolic okay now don't worry too much about that word. Just remember that that's the, the first one. That's the high measurement. The highest measurement, okay? The blood then goes off and it flows through these arteries. I'm just gonna make this, uh, try and draw a diagram of this. So this would be, um, here's an artery, the thick one. The blood's getting pumped along it. And remember that it splits off into these smaller little blood vessels called capillaries okay I've exaggerated the size here but it's it's uh, it splits off now think of you were pushing some liquid down here when it got to the smaller gap it would be it'd be harder for it to get through a smaller gap is more difficult for the blood to get through okay so what happens as the blood flows along it's harder to get through these smaller gaps okay it's under a certain amount of pressure you've got to have a certain amount of pressure to squeeze it through the gaps the pressure wasn't high enough it wouldn't get through there what the blood pressure uh, measures is apart from that first measurement the second measurement is how hard it is for the blood to get through these little gaps and that second measurement is called the diastolic and it's the lower of the two measurements so whenever you get a blood pressure measurement there will always be two values now a typical value and this is worth remembering for an adult the first measurement is 120 and for the second measurement is 80 okay that's probably the key bit for you to remember if you can remember a typical blood measurement like that blood pressure for an adult it would be 120 over 80 if you want to know what it's measured in you don't need to know this but it's actually measured in millimeters of mercury which is a pretty old measurement of pressure okay but you don't need to remember that 120 over 80 is a typical measurement. So if you had your blood pressure taken and it was this top number was a lot bigger or this bottom number was a lot bigger, it might tell us there's some problem. So if there was, for example, your heart was having to work harder to push this stuff out, the blood pressure might increase. In fact, we have a condition called, well, it's high blood pressure. It's very, very dangerous or can be very, very dangerous. The proper name for it is hyper hyper means above tension so your blood pressure is above normal okay to give you an idea of what that might be maybe something like 140 over 90 okay now I do bear in mind this is for adults and your blood pressure does change during the day so just because you've got a high blood pressure measurement at one time it's no reason to panic um, it can also go up for things like if you've been eating if you're sleeping it tends to go down um, nicotine in cigarettes can make it increase as well so there's all kinds of things that can make it go higher if you have a high blood pressure over a sustained over a long period of time it tells you it's a warning sign because that might lead to heart disease there are no other outward signs for blood pressure you can't tell by looking at someone if they've got high blood pressure 
um, you really just have to have the blood pressure tested and that's the only way to do it so the quick version the summary version high blood pressure is a bad thing a normal blood pressure 120 over 80 hypertension means high blood pressure and it's a warning early warning sign for heart disease